start working on the front portion okay now so i have given the part 1 link below so if you uh, you can refer the part 1 after that we'll start working on the button portion okay for that i'm going to start from this side here this is the first space and then attach the new yarn make chain 1 single crochet in the same space okay single crochet again in the same space now we are going to make a two single crochet in the next space so one two okay so and then in the next stitch is there right here you are going to make one single crochet so you have to follow the same in the space you are going to make two single crochet in the stitch you are going to make one single crochet okay like this you can see okay now i am going to make a single crochet in the stitch here and then two single crochet in the space and then single crochet in the stitch two single crochet in the space single crochet in the stitch and then two single crochet in the space so this it will be like that okay now again we are going to make a single crochet so you have to make a single crochet in each at every stitch and space okay in the two side this is one side right so other side also you have to do a same so two single crochet in the space and single crochet in the stitch then single crochet in the space two single crochet in the space single crochet in the stitch now again single crochet two single crochet in the space here you are going to make a so this we, we have completed right we have completed this portion okay it will be like this now we are going to make a same single crochet in the middle portion okay here so now you are going to make a single crochet in this stitch and then single crochet in the stitch here then single crochet this is a third single crochet okay and then this is a fourth single crochet then see here now we are going to make a single crochet in the space okay so again two single crochet so and then single crochet in the stitch so two single in the space then single crochet in the stitch two single in the space single crochet in the stitch two single crochet in the space single crochet in the stitch two single crochet in the space so you have to continue making single crochet like this okay So it will be like this so you have to continue making a single crochet and then you have to con you single you make a single crochet here also in the each and every stitch space is there right so here then in corner you are going to make a single crochet so every stitch you are going to make a one single crochet in every corner also one single crochet so throughout the back side also so every corner here is there right so every corner also you have to make a single crochet till here so i have completed the single crochet all the way round now i am going to make a slip stitch in the first single crochet to finish this round so i have finished this round now 
chain 3 front post double crochet in the next stitch okay and then back post double crochet in the next single crochet like this okay and then again front post double crochet in the next stitch and back post double crochet in the next stitch front post double crochet in the next stitch so you have to work on front post double crochet and back post double crochet now again back post double crochet in the next stitch okay so the design will be like this okay now we are going to make a create a button hole so chain one skip next stitch and make a back post double crochet in the next stitch if you have a big size button you will you have to do like this okay but if you have a small size button you no need this big this much big hole right so you no need to make a chain one or skip any chains you just continue the same pattern okay so i have not created a button hole so i have just continue the same pattern till here so i have completed you see okay i have completed front post back post front post back post till here now i am going to make a front post double crochet again here to complete this round so i have done a front post double crochet and finished this round like this okay now we are going to work on other side okay so we have completed one side right so now i am going to skip five stitches see here after this you have to skip five stitches count it and skip one two three four five so five stitches you you just skip and then we'll work on the sixth stitch so five stitch we are going to skip here to here and then we are going to work on the 60 stitch from here okay so you just insert the hook and pull the yarn like this make chain 3 we'll start working from here right so chain 3 and make a front post double crochet again in the next stitch so skipping 5 after skipping 5 stitches we are going to make a front a chain 3 and then we will start working on front post back post front post back post now this is a front post double crochet and then back post double crochet then front post double crochet again then back post double crochet so you have to work on the same front post back post front post back post in this side also okay now front post double crochet again so you have to continue the same front post back post front post back post okay now again see it will be like this okay then back post double crochet front post double crochet so we have to continue the same till here okay so i have completed now i am going to finish it off this round here this is the last front post double crochet okay after that we'll work on the button hook okay now after this here we have to make a single crochet we have to do a single crochet again in the back portion okay so i will say tell you later now we are going to uh, join the button and we have to shoe this portion okay these three portion we have to sew, sew it 
now i am going to um, join a sew a button like this take any button you have to just to sew it like this so this is a one time i am doing i actually i have three holes four holes in this button okay so i am going to do two times like this so now just cut the yarn and then put it not not it tightly okay back side here okay later you you will not not it and then you have to do the same for other button also you just see without creating a button hole i have just made a button insert a button like this okay so i have sewed other button also now we are going to turn your side for the sewing part okay so you just turn your sweater like this this is the back side okay now take the button portion whole portion first after that above button portion just this is the first portion you see how i am sewing and button portion is above that and then you have to sew from the skipped five stitches part okay here to insert a needle like this and then pull the yarn so you have to sew like sew like this okay whatever method you can do you, you just sew the button but please make sure that button hole side should be uh, uh, front side okay so you have to sew like this so this is the second time i am doing and again insert the hook okay this is the third time and then to do the same it should be tighten okay this is the fourth time i finished this sewing now i have cut the yarn you just join the loose ends later okay now you have just turn your sweater see the the portion sewed portion you can see it will be like this okay here you you can see right so now i have just joined the buttons two buttons so this is the first button and then this is the second button whatever buttons you can you have you can make like this okay now we are going to what how many buttons you want you can make okay you can see the sewed portions okay here so we have completed the button now now we are going to again start working on the single crochet in the back side whatever we worked in the previous same thing we are going to work now see here the turning thing right so in the next stitch here you are going to make a single crochet so in every stitch you are going to make a single crochet like this okay single crochet so the, you have to work on the single crochet in every stitch for the whole shoulder and back side part like this so continue the same single crochet throughout the row till here so i have completed the single crochet now going to make a slip stitch to finish this round so we have finished the front portions the yarn so we have finished the front portion part now you can see here 
okay now we are start working on the sleeve here okay so we insert the hook in the armhole chain like this so we are working start working from the armhole side armhole chain side insert the hook pull the yarn like this then chain 3 make double crochet in the next stitch so actually in this sleeve first three rows we are going to uh, we are going to make a decrease okay so we are going to work on double crochet like this i will tell you the decreasing part okay how we will decrease the stitches so this is the first row we are working so like this you are going to work on double crochet in each stitch don't skip any stitches okay so till you have to continue making a double crochet in every stitch like this so in every stitch we are going we are making double crochet so for the three rows we are going to decrease so 3 4 5 6 so like that you have to count it and make it the double crochet okay so double crochet again double crochet so double crochet double crochet so you can just continue till here so i have completed see last two stitches is there right so there we are going to make a decrease so insert the hook and without completing double crochet we are going to make another double crochet together you are going to finish it off so this is the first decrease we have made now another decrease you should not uh, slip stitch make a slip stitch in third chain you should make a slip stitch in the next chain next stitch okay so that is the two decrease we have done now chain 3 make us double crochet in the next stitch in the first row you will get 34 double crochet okay 32 double crochet and two double crochet together stitches now we are going to make a decrease again in the two stitches see here first which we are not normal double crochet and these two we are decreasing you just continue the double crochet only uh, one time we are decreasing okay and then at the end we are going to decrease one more time till here you are complete so now see you are going to make a double crochet together so we have decreased two times so in this row you will get 32 double crochet together i mean 32 double crochet okay then double crochet then we are going to join in the third chain this is not a decrease okay so we are going to slip stitch in the third chain now chain 3 this is the third row we are going to decrease again so first row 34 double crochet second row 32 double crochet now double crochet in the every stitch 3 double third double crochet fourth double crochet now fifth double crochet have to continue till here now we are going to make a another double crochet together decrease so we are going to decrease again to double crochet together so this is the first decrease we have made and then double crochet in the two stitches so one and two so here you will get 30 double crochet now we are going to decrease here so without uh, joining in third chain you have to join slip stitch in the next stitch so two decrease we have made so this is the shape okay so first row 34 second row 30 30 uh, 32 and third row you will get 30 double crochet that you make sure before proceeding the pattern okay this is the shape and it will be like this sleeve now we are going to start working on the pattern so chain 3 and then double crochet in the next stitch double crochet in the next stitch now chain 3 skip 
skip three stitches whatever we done in the body portion same so skip three stitches make double crochet in the three stitch same method we are following here also and then chain three okay then skip three stitches here three double crochet so one then next stitch another double crochet the next stitch another double crochet okay then chain three so you have to continue the same pattern till here okay five times you will get three double crochet now chain three you just three skip three stitches and make a here you are going to make a slit stitch in the third chain and changing the color of yarn and pull the yarn okay now i have done with the slit stitch now take the loose ends like this and then chain six two three four five six skip three stitches make three double crochet in the previous row three stitches whatever we have done in the body portion same method so here first double crochet after skipping three stitches okay and then in the second double crochet third double crochet okay now chain three see here it will be like this chain three two three make a three double crochet in the previous three stitches so one two three and three chain three so you have to continue the same pattern till here so i have completed i have reached the end now i'm without making a chain three we just join the third chain in the beginning sixth ch six chains okay so the third chain changing the color of yarn now slit stitch chain three three double crochet in the previous three stitches Just take the yarn like this and then make a three double crochet along with this yarn okay so one two and three and then chain three three double crochet in the previous three stitches So one, two, and three. Chain three. Make three double crochet. In the previous three stitches. Two and three. Chain three, make three double crochet in the previous three stitches. One, two, and three. Chain three, three double crochet in the last three stitches. One, two. And three chain three. You just join the third chain, okay, with the slip stitch, changing the color of the yarn.
ओके नाउ चेन सिक्स सो यू हैव टू स्टार्ट दिस रो फ्रॉम चेन सिक्स नेक्स्ट रो फ्रॉम चेन थ्री दिस रो फ्रॉम चेन सिक्स नेक्स्ट रो फ्रॉम चेन थ्री सेम वॉट एवर वी डन इन दी बॉडी पोर्शन ओके सो एंड देन स्कीप थ्री स्टिचेस मेक थ्री डबल क्रोशे इन द प्रीवियस थ्री स्टिचेस एज यूजल नॉर्मल पैटर्न विल कंटिन्यू So one, two, three. Okay, you just continue the same pattern for ten rows totally. So here you are going to, without making three chains, you just join the third chain in this row to finish it, and like this you have to complete. Okay, for ten rows till here. Totally ten rows you have to complete. So I have completed ten rows now. See, so one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten, ten. So ten rows I have completed. Now I am going to make a chain three. Slip stitch in the third chain here. and then to change the color now chain 1 single crochet in the same stitch sorry next stitch single crochet in the next stitch here okay and then Single crochet in the next stitch. So you have to continue making a single crochet in every stitch like this. And also now here we are going to make a. This is the bottom portion. What we did in the bottom portion body same. Single crochet in the previous first stitch, and single crochet in the previous second stitch, and single crochet in the previous third stitch, and then single crochet here. Three single crochet here. So one, two, and. Three, then single crochet three times in the this part. So one, two, three. Okay, so I have to continue making single crochet till the end of the row. So I have completed. See here now, single crochet again, single crochet, single crochet. Now I'm going to finish the round by making a slip stitch in the first single crochet like this. Okay, changing the color of the yarn now. Okay, now we are going to start working on the decrease part. Single crochet in the same stitch. Okay, now single crochet in the next stitch. and single crochet in the next stitch skip next stitch fourth stitch we are skipping and then single crochet in the fifth stitch here so and then two second single crochet and then third single crochet and then skip next single crochet and make a single crochet again so first single crochet so every fourth single crochet we are skipping so three third single crochet then skip one and then Single crochet three times. So one, two, and three, and then skip one stitch. Make a single crochet in the next stitch. Single crochet again. Single crochet again. So just continue the same till the end. So at the end, you are going to make a three single crochet we have made right. So now I am going to skip next stitch and make a single crochet. So one, two, and three. And then skip two stitches. Make a single crochet in the first single crochet. Then take uh, change the color on yarn. Now we are going to start working on the ribbing portion. Okay. 
whatever we have done in the bottom of the body so chain 3 front post double crochet in the next stitch like this little difficult but if you want you can make a double crochet in the previous rounds okay it will be very easy so this is a front post double crochet and then the next stitch make a back post double crochet okay in the next stitch front post double crochet next stitch back post double crochet next stitch front post double crochet and then in the next stitch back post you have to continue the same pattern front post back post front post back post in every stitches front post now continue the same till the end here so I have completed C now I am going to make a slip stitch in the third chain no more decreases ok so just continue by the pattern now chain 3 again front post double crochet in the next stitch so front post double crochet in the previous front post back post double crochet in the previous front post front post in the previous front back post in the previous back so this is the pattern of this row so if you want you can make a three to four rows like this but i have made only two rows so this is second row whatever length you can make okay based on the baby size so just continue the same and you have to do the same for other sleeve also okay continue the same till here thank you Thank you.